schedule a free design consultation, and the more you buy, the more you'll save on blinds, shades, shutters, and more from Budget Blinds. Visit BudgetBlinds.com today. Moses, it's what Game 7s are made of, do or die. For all the marbles must win, whatever you want to call it. The only thing that matters, Bart, the Lloydminster Bandits, they just want to come up on the right side of the scoreboard, and that wasn't the case in Game 5 or 6. After going up three games to one, the Bandits have been beat by the St. Paul Canadians, allowing 14 goals in those two games combined. Now the shift focuses to St. Paul, where the Bandits need to rise to the occasion, according to their coach. We didn't show up and play desperation hockey like we wanted to go out of series. And they, they showed up and they showed that they didn't want their season to end. They, what, they score four or five goals on the power play like that. And game, game five was the same, same situation. And guys are slumped over and feeling sorry for themselves. And that's, that's not this time of the year. you got to answer the bell. Now, puck drop for tonight's game is at 8 o'clock, and stay tuned to New Cap News at late for any updates from that game. Now, moving on, hard to believe the Lloydminster Bobcats only have two games left in their regular season on the road in Fort McMurray this weekend. Now, as the season wraps up, you can't help but remember some of the highlights during the year. In this week's Beyond the Boards, Nair Manisa caught up with some members of the team to see what their favorite memories are from this past season. Let's talk about favorite memories. What has been your favorite memory so far this season? Uh, I don't know. It, it's got to be one of the, you know, the OTs that uh, we came out and won. Uh, I think I had an assist to um, Austin Uremchek, uh, uh in Sherwood Park. So it was his hometown, and he got to put the last one in. So it was really, it was really fun, uh, really like exciting after that game. How excited was getting your first AJHL goal this season? Oh, that was that was really cool. Uh, Lucas Bench passed it to me, uh, kind of backdoor, and it's like kind of one, well, like a one-timer. And uh, you know, it was really it was fun to get it at home. Here with defenseman Shane Schweitzer, and of course, you haven't been a Bobcat for too long. You came here in January, but in this short amount of time, you know, you've done a lot with the team. What has been your favorite memory so far as a Bobcat? Uh, I'd have to say my favorite memory is uh, scoring the shootout winner in my first game. That was a good way to welcome myself to the team. Well, that's exactly it. Not many people get that opportunity when they step into a new team to be able to contribute right away. So what were you thinking when, you know, you got the tap saying, hey, we're going to go take a shootout, you know, attempt, especially seeing the fact that you're a defenseman. That doesn't happen often. I uh, wasn't thinking much, really. Uh, I just went down and shot it and happened to go in. <laughs> Um, I think the biggest memory would probably be last year Hockey Day in Canada. I mean, that was just an awesome experience as a hockey player and just the community and how much support we got throughout that. So, I mean, that was pretty cool, but I think also just the friendships and the bonds that I've built with all the guys over the past few years. I mean, I talked to all of them still.